Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can calculate net worth, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we're calculating our net worth, it's divided into two sections. We have our assets and our liabilities. So let's think about our assets first. Those are going to be thought of as positive values. These are things that we either own or maybe cash that we have on hand that if needed to could be converted into cash. So you see we've got several things here. Bank, 7,500, so that might be checking and savings. Maybe our car is worth a little bit over $10,000 if we were to sell it. Our house might be uh, worth a little bit more than $125,000 if we sold it. And then maybe we've got $10,000 in investments. So what is our total assets? Well, we're just going to add this up. We're going to take these values at, at face value. And so if we ever are calculating net worth, they're going to be giving you these values. They're not going to make you try to guess how much your house is worth. So that's going to be 12. So we're just going to do simple addition here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total assets of $152,850. Now liabilities, think of these as negative. So these are things that if you everyone were to take their money from you that you owe them, you would have to pay out. So you might owe $8,000 in credit card debt. You might owe uh, $42,000 in student loans from college. And this is tied to your house. So your mortgage is actually what you're paying on when you first buy your house. Because unless you've got enough money to pay for your house in cash, you're actually borrowing that money from the bank or some type of mortgage institution. So if you were to sell your house for $125,000, you'd still have to pay back $90,000 to the bank. So let's add up our liabilities here. And you see we're going to have, uh, let's see, that's going to be 10. So that's 14. So $140,000, $140,000 with $100. That's our total liabilities. So we simply subtract the two. 152,850, 140, 100. Let's not put commas so we don't get confused. So that is going to be <laughs> not much. $12,750. So yeah, you have a lot of money in the bank and your house is worth a lot, but it was really this mortgage and the student loans means your net worth is barely in the positive. 12,750. Sometimes they give you the net worth statement all together. So our assets here are listed. They don't have anything next to them, but we can think of them as our positive values here, our house, our savings, our car. And then our liabilities are shown here as negative. We know that our assets minus our liabilities equals our net worth. And so we see here that our assets, we've got a house. So let's see what that's going to give us, 249. Our savings is 3500 and our car is simply worth 10000 here. So if we add these up, we see our assets are going to be 262500 And they already give us our net worth, right? So we need this 262500 minus our liabilities equals this 198,000. Well, that's pretty easy. Let's just go ahead and subtract that. And we see that our total liabilities need to be, let's do a little regrouping here for another regrouping. And that is going to be 64,500. But you see, we're actually missing our liabilities here. So our liabilities that we have so far are going to be our car loan. So that's 5,500. And our credit card debt, 3250. So so far, we've got liabilities of 8,750, and we need to get it up to 64,500. So that's where we do a little bit of subtracting, quite a bit of addition subtracting here. But if we subtract those two to see how far that is, that is going to get us our missing amount, and that's sometimes what they'll ask us to do is to calculate a missing amount. And we'll see that we've got 55,750.